Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Save the corals, dim the sun. That's not dim the sun, that's dim the sun. If you thought it was about dim the sun, I'm really sorry about this. So what's the best way to dim the sun? If we could erect some sort of massive super shade to reduce the sunlight getting to the earth, then two things would happen. You'd reduce coral bleaching, and there'd be fewer hurricanes. Now, as we don't have a massive sunshade around, unless someone's got one, scientists are looking at squirting aerosol sulfates into the upper atmosphere to scatter the sunlight in the upper atmosphere. So then sun and the sun's rays will go straight back out into space and then reduce global warming. So James Crabby at the University of Bedfordshire in the good old U of K, he has looked at a ways of bioengineering. Now we all know that corals are the rainforest of the sea and any damage to them has a huge effect on ecosystems both near and far. So they use computer models to simulate the changing climate and the rising sea level between 2020 and 2069. And then they looked at what would happen if there was reduced amount of solar radiation getting to the earth. And Krabby said that by 2069, if you could reduce the solar radiation, then the sea temperature would reduce significantly. The problem we have is when the sea temperature rises too much, and we're talking about like parts of a degree here, then the corals become really grumpy landlords. And within the corals live these algae, and the algae get expelled, they get kicked out of the corals, which is bad for the corals really, because the algae, they go through a process of photosynthesis, which produces food, which the corals can have. But the corals are like, no, it's too hot, get out, algae. And then they don't have any food and they die. So when we talk about bleaching, that's what's happened. The algae get kicked out and they become bleached. Long term, they starve to death. And this can be reduced. And by reducing global temperature, we can stop this from happening. Also, by managing the amount of solar radiation getting to the earth, you can reduce the number of hurricanes that are produced. And you know what hurricanes do to a coral reef? They absolutely decimate and it also destroy its ability to be able to reproduce and to recruit organisms that live in the corals. I mean, a hurricane will do that to a coral. Now, it's not all good news if we change temperature because on a global scale, we don't know the effect of reducing global temperatures. There could be changes in weather patterns. There could be droughts in some areas, could be floods in other areas. We need to save the corals and we need to save the rainforest and we need to do it now. And until someone can come up with a fantastic, amazing, great idea of how it can be done, the small things that we can do, saving electricity, recycling, all those small things that can help our planet is better for everybody. We can reduce gas emissions and we can hopefully have an impact on the rate of global warming. That is Save the Corals, Dim the Sun. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Go turn your light off.